to me guys. I made reference recently to a plasma cutter and this is the unit. Um, anybody who watches and gets electronic stuff from newegg.com I happened quite by chance to see this listed in the I'm not sure whether it was bargain basement clearance section or what but anyway I've been after one for ages and the price was not too bad compared to many. It was a lot cheaper than the Harbour Freight one. Uh, but I don't know whether it's going to perform properly. I've got it all wrapped up at the moment just to be able to carry it around. So you've got the air in, pressure regulator, and uh, yeah, there's the torch. So it's literally going to be set up for a first try soon and just see if it does its work. Okay, uh, I did try one little blast here, I wasn't even lined up, and this is only a piece of eighth. Anyway, I've clamped a fence on there, the only thing that's bothering me at the moment is, after the first use, when you cut off the arc, the uh, air keeps coming out. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but anyway, I'm going to try and just take a, try and just take a cut along here. I've got a uh, fire blanket on the floor and a sheet of aluminum. Normally I would try and do this outdoors. shut the air off till I turn the machine off. And I didn't quite go through. So I was going a bit too quick I think. A little bit of spit back. A bit of crud on the wire. I'm assuming the wire's there as a guide. Pressure is uh, 65, which is what they recommend. I'll just try and finish that off. through. Get some pliers a minute. There's going to be an optimum cutting speed obviously which at the moment I don't know much about. But it works <laughs> and uh, the arc strikes up easily. That's good. Don't have to touch the electrode well, that's the uh, that's the cut edge, typical plasma cut, pretty clean, bit of slag. And that's literally the first time I've tried to uh, tried to make a cut on there. That was a botched first trial. But why the air is staying on, I'm not sure. I'm going to check with the uh, manufacturer tomorrow and see. But basically. Um, that's doing what I want. It'll do up to 5 eighths, I think, mild steel, which is unlikely. I'm going to want that very often. Okay. All right, I haven't finished. <laughs> this is a learning process. I haven't got a Shade 5 face protector, but this one will do just for a bit of eye protection. It's only a short. Same, I've just moved the fence back a bit. Um, I've realised that the air is like a post purge, which I guess is cooling as well. What I've done here, because it's only eighth plate, 
uh, I've cut the current down to 30 instead of 50 and from what I've learnt from others um, it seems in most cases a drag cut a drag cut is probably probably the easiest get better flow and I've dropped my air pressure down they say 60 to 65 well that's okay for the heavy stuff but I've dropped it back down to about 50 so I'm just going to uh, switch on and try again it's a learning process isn't it shut off. Alright, I was going a bit too quick. A bit too quick. Um, the actual cut itself, not too bad. There's a lot of dross on the bottom. It's probably my fault. Let's just take one. I'll just set up and do one more. You YouTubers are probably laughing at this old man. <laughs> but I say it's the first time I've fired the damn thing up. So I'm new to it. It's not quite the same as welding. <laughs> so I'm just going to make another pass and I'll see. Um, on that other pass, you could see where I went too fast because the sparks came up and sort of down through. So we'll try and go a bit slow, but another thing is these old unsteady hands doesn't help. Well, that's a little bit better. Yeah, by the time the dross is cleaned off, I don't think that's too bad, actually. You pick this piece up off the floor here. So I'm doing this on my uh, fire blanket. Now that... Funny, which was the last cut? Oh, I think it was this one, actually. that's at all visible. You can see all the slag on it, if I knock that off in a minute. Now the uh, the edge here, you see there's that lower layer of crud. The actual cut itself is beautifully clean. But whether this is, uh, what do they, some people call it, recast, is it? I can't remember. Maybe I was short of air pressure then, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure of that. So anybody who's skilled at this can uh, comment. But the actual cut was fairly straight, classic uh, appearance. So anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm relieved at, about the post-purge air, which had me worried. And... Um, Thus far I'm very pleased with it. I think on a large scale I would do the work outside, get out in the open air, but the fallout, all the bits and pieces, nothing much on the floor actually. Everything cools off pretty quick once it starts to drop. Alright, I'll repeat myself because I said earlier thanks for watching. And if I can't cut that out, this is a second thanks for watching. <laughs> so, um, a new toy. See you later.